My dear brothers and sisters, today I would like to talk about a topic which is very, you can say it's very hard to explain. This is one of the biggest jihad that today Muslims should take. I am not saying everybody go to your house and get AK-47 and let's start fighting. No. There is no worse than that. Because Shaitan has taken all his weapons and he's ready every minute for us. Every weapon that he would bring, he take it out. Every technology that he can bring it, he brought it. To fight us. Because He's barely your enemy. Nobody else is your enemy. He's your enemy. He's your biggest enemy. Let us take him as an enemy. But it's very difficult. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, In the gate of shaitan, he cannot die. That the plans of shaitan is weak. The things that shaitan does is weak. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in another ayah, وَخُلِقَ الْإِنسَانُ ضَعِيفًا Now we are also being created weak. So we have a lot of weakness. We have a lot of weaknesses that we need to work out on it. But this today, that the topic that I chose, it will clear to us what are we in. Where are we in? More to youth. More to youth. Because I think an old man will not do that position. He, will not, he was in that position maybe one day. And he regrets from it. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, It is a test for us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us a lot of tests. 
So you go to the mall, you find a beautiful woman naked. It's naked. It's actually, actually she's naked. So at the, the Prophet Muhammad said there will be a time will come, people wouldn't think that they're naked. You go to the bank. What is she? She's put in half, everything is out. Now you go to the mall, same thing. Everywhere you go, there's a picture of it. Well, actually in Africa, they destroyed it more. Everywhere they put the sign of a condom and the sign of a woman. So, first you think, then second. You have the option, that's it. You look at it, every corner in Botswana is the country has the most AIDS. If you can see it in the world. SubhanAllah. And university up there, forget it. So everywhere you go, there is this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have favored us in Islam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has favored us in Islam and shown that this is not something which is good. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't say that وَمَن يَفْعَلْ ذَلِكَ لَمُعَذِّبَنَّهُ عَذَابًا شَدِيدًا He didn't say that. Whoever looks, he will punish him severely. No. It is something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prohibited. And then when you pass the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will punish you. So that means not only the look, that you are passing the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So especially for young people, high school, primary school, and so on, university, college, everywhere they are. So that means everywhere you go, shaitan is sitting for you there. So, so my dear brothers and sisters, so how can we avoid this? on the streets, everywhere. There's no way you can run away from this. Not only that, even when, a big one, when you're watching air, news, after the news, but it became like normal to us. Like it's not anymore affecting us. It is not anymore affecting us. It's not anymore like, stop for a stop for a you You're just going, it's okay, let's, you know, inshallah, inshallah, we'll improve it. It's just not, it, it became natural to us. It became natural for us. And now for the women. Don't they know that they're going to get a sin for it? Now, we even run away from the malls, we come to the masajid. What do we have? We have some women who will not put the hijab properly. They will come into the masjid with no hijab. Haram alaykum. No hijab at all. The hair half is hanging. With the most secure place you can only have was the masjid. It's not that I'm attacking the women. It's the reality. It's the truth. It's something that we have to advise our wives and our daughters. Now, not only that, slowly, slowly we washed out. Now we bring jeans tight. And we say, Alhamdulillah, Muslim. Modernized, you know, next level, meaning generation which is, you know, in a good way. But why did the Prophet Muhammad give us these modernized things? The hijab today is a fashion. People today, they put in tight things, they think they're the muhajibin. You can see everything. And now, that is the condition of the Muslims. Now then, we have to gain, we have to put our gains lower. But they ain't everywhere. So you have to pay attention to that. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, after this ayah telling us, This is also for the sisters. So not only, I can, well, you know, I can look, because it's for Allah, for the man not to look at me. No, it's also for the women. What I said that, that the side of the women, now we have men who like look like they're men, but they're not. 
Now we have in the summer, women is more destruction for them. Men are wearing tight things, tight, maybe not even, some of them not even having clothes. Some of them even just walking out, saying I have nine packs and ten packs, so everybody just check on me. Walking on the streets, and that's what we see. But this is more everywhere, whether you go to Saudi, but it's less. In a Muslim country, it's less because people feel shame more. But here, no shame. There is no shame. One time, my younger sister, she told me, why can't, why do I have to put this hijab and all that? Why other Muslims, are they better than us? Why other Muslims, do they have better degree than us? Why other Muslims are putting on tight things? Why can't I put tight things too? SubhanAllah. And that other questions will come to your daughters. And that's the questions will come to your house. Because someone that were not educated Islamically is destroying our reputation, is destroying our deen.